Hello YouTube, this is GunCrazy81 again, and I'm going to be making a video tonight um, in a response to the Mighty Dozer, um, and, and I was mentioning in my videos that, that I did have an M38, and he was asking, uh, he asked me a question of what the difference is between an M38 and an M44R, and I was just talking to him a little bit ago, and um, I told him that I was going to be doing a video on it. So I just wanted to show him some uh, differences. Now there is very slight differences between the two guns. They're basically the same gun. Um, the only thing that's different with the M38 and the M44 is the M44 has a permanently attached bayonet. And I'm going to show you that guys right now. Now this gun does not belong to me. This is my brother's. Um, I didn't even know he has a YouTube channel, Rukudu3. But, this is his M44. Now the bayonet comes up, and you slide it up, and pull it over. And it, it clips in around the barrel there. And, um, so like I said, they're basically the same gun. This one does have a bayonet. Now they first started making these guns back in 1944, um, at the kind of a, the tail end of World War II, and I believe, and to correct me if I'm wrong, but they continued making these all the way up until 1948. The Russians decided that they wanted to keep um, production up until 1948, and then after 1948, they kind of just went away with it. And um, around 1953, the Chinese actually started making their own version of the M44, it's called the Type 53, and so they made that for up to 1959, I believe, so that was the very last year that the Mosin Agat was made. Now I'm going to show you um, my M38, since I, sh I sh showed you guys this, and I will get back to this, because I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in the next part. Now this is my M38. I've showed this gun off to you guys a few times, so many of you have seen it. Um, and so the M38 is basically the same, except it doesn't have the, the bayonet lug there. Um, now this stock on this M38 is not the original stock. And I'll show you how you, how you can tell if your stock is is an original M38 stock or not. Now this stock actually comes off of an M44. And I'll show you how you can tell that. Now if you look right there, you can see that line, that groove there. And that's where your bayonet folds into. Now since they started making these guns back in 1938, this is a 1942. So during the refurbishment process, when they were refurbishing them back in the 70s or whenever the time period was for that, they actually replaced most of them, the M38s or the M44 stocks. Now there are some, you're very lucky to get one with the M, original M38 stock and they're very hard to find. And I've been looking for one because I really would like to replace it with this. But until I find it, this is good. I like this. Um, it's very nice. I really like this M38. So, um, that's what I have about this. Now I'm going to go back to the M44. And I'm going to show you guys what I was talking about, that groove that's in the... for your bayonet. Now, there's their groove right there. Okay, this is 1944. This is an Ishevac. Try to get a close up of it. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. But when you fold the bayonet in, what you want to do is you want to lift up on this and slide it down, and then it folds back like that. 
try to angle this so you guys can see it. Now there's, a, there's the groove right there. So when you pop that in, it snaps in. So basically you're kind of level with your um, stock. Now, I think another reason why they did that, because if, if you're going to be shooting this, you don't really want a bayonet sticking up out of you, especially with the recoil. You might jag yourself on the hand or something. It probably wouldn't feel very well. So, um, that's my response to uh, the Mighty Dozer, and I hope uh, I hope this helps you out, man. And uh, really appreciate you leaving that comment, and um, I'm glad to be doing this video for you. So, um, if you guys like this video, please press the like button. Um, leave me some comments. Leave me lots of comments. Um, I'll get back to you, and if I miss something, let me know. Um, and maybe I'll add an add annotation in the video sometime. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel. And if you subscribe to me, I'm going to subscribe right back to you. That's just a common thing that I do for subscribers. And I have one more thing to add. And if you guys are noticing, I did give myself a haircut. And right now I'm sweating pretty profusely because it's about 100 degrees outside. So it is very hot. So I had to get some of this stuff off my head just so I could feel better. Like I said, I am sweating. So I'm sorry that I'm doing this in front of you guys. But I just want to show you guys how hot it is. It sucks. I can't wait till, till fall time. So um, let me know what you guys think. And um, I didn't mean to, to bore you with the craziness that I have. So... Uh, Talk to you later, guys. Have a good night.